guys welcome back to another youtube video if you're new my name is lauren today is actually my first day of work at my new job and if you haven't been following me for the past few months i got laid off at the beginning of september actually labor day weekend and i've been unemployed ever since so it's been really rough in the job search for the past few weeks, but I um, had my fourth interview with the company last week and I got extended an offer, went through a background check and everything like that and got approved. And now today is my first day and it's definitely a different style of job. I've never done this before. My major isn't in it from college. Definitely something new new career path and it's with a financial advising company i'm excited to start today and start working i have been so ready to get back into a work routine yeah so that's what's that's what's going on i wanted to film a work week in my life for my first day of work because i didn't do it at my last job and i want it for the memories for myself and stuff like that so i thought it'd be fun and to kind of give you guys kind of a first impression too of how I'm liking the job, what I'm doing on a day to day, and how the whole training process goes because it is going to be me training this week. My hours are 8.30 to 5 Monday through Thursday and then 8 to 4 on Friday. But anyways, let's go. Let's go um, finish getting ready. <music> from my first day of work and it went really well. I mean, I haven't really dove too far in to give a full review, but so far so good. I mean, it's only been a day. Just a lot of information, things like that, which I feel like is normal. And then some setting up stuff had to be done as well. But other than that, it went really well. I tried to take a few clips, as you guys saw, of the area and stuff. Yeah, but all in all, it was a really good day. And now I'm home. I did get a parking pass for the garage, which was good. So now I can park there and yeah, now I just got home. I am like kind of worn out, <laughs> um, but I'm going to go get ready for the gym and do a little workout. I'm going to do probably like a 12, 3, 30 because I really didn't walk around a lot today or maybe just like a simple 30 minute walk. And then I've been doing the form workouts. It's the Sammy Clark um, app. So I did switch it up. I was doing Pilates for a little bit, but I just wanted to change it up a little bit. And I feel like her workouts are so good. I used to do them a few years ago, actually during 2020, I did them. She didn't have form then. She was just doing them on her Instagram. She was going live and then saving them. And I would just go through all of her live workouts and just do them that way. And that's how I originally found her. It was during COVID. And then I like just switched up my workouts. I feel like I do a good job of switching up my workouts or switching up what programs I use because I never want to get bored with what I'm doing. So I try to switch it up when I'm feeling like a little bit not so motivated um, anymore because when you start something new, it's like easy to get on that like rush of like, oh, I'm so excited. It's like a new face. It's a new person. It's like a new plan. It's different. So that's another tip that I like to say is like if you're feeling like unmotivated or uninspired with working out or going to the gym, try something new. Try a new cardio machine or just try a new workout program. Like these programs are 20, around 20 to $30 a month and you have full access to as many workouts as you want. I really love the form one. Um, I've also done Cali Fuller Fitz programs, which I really love. I did um, Tasha Franken for Pilates, and now I'm doing form. And form has like a mix of weights, 
and no weights and kind of like those Pilates movements. So it's been really nice. I've only been doing it for a few weeks, but I've really been liking it. So I'm probably just gonna do a treadmill and then do those because those workouts are around 30 minutes. didn't talk to you guys at all this morning because I came up with a good time for me to wake up in the morning without having like extra things to do. So I haven't been waking up early enough to really allow enough time for me to like vlog and then talk to you guys or update you guys or say anything. So I need to wake up a little bit earlier this week so that way I'm not like rushing to do everything because I'm like setting up the camera and then like stopping the clip, moving the camera around, like getting like a little bit creative with it. Anyways, yeah. So I really didn't have a lot of time. I'm gonna wake up a little bit earlier tomorrow. So I have like more time and I'm not like rushing around, but yeah. So I tried to take a few clips today for you guys, but it's kind of just a lot of training. like. Obviously when you start any job, it's just a bunch of training. So I'm like watching videos, going through like modules, learning about the programs that I'm gonna be using. So it's just a lot of info. So I kind of do leave the day like a little bit drained because I feel like I'm like cramming so much information into my head. And I feel like you guys will understand that too. Like if you start a new job, like you're learning so much, you're just like, the first week is gonna be a little bit draining. So, yeah, but it's totally okay. I literally don't even mind. Um, I'm excited to learn and I'm eager to learn and I think I'm just like so excited to be lucky enough to have a job and um, it's something that I definitely like took for granted before, if that makes sense. Why am I talking so much? I feel like I didn't really have anyone to talk to today. So I'm like just hashing it out on you guys and it's so funny too because I feel like when I don't talk enough throughout the day, I'm like nonstop, just chit chatty, chit chatting. Like I'll be talking Christian's ear off, my boyfriend. I'll be talking his ear off and I'll be like, oh my God. I can like tell that I didn't like talk enough today or like talk to people. My energy kind of like lifts up a little bit. I don't know how to explain it, but anyways, I don't even know what I was talking about, but I am being a little bit chit chatty today. So I'm sorry. <laughs> But anyways, let me share with you guys because I need to head down to the gym. But I want to share with you guys my packages. I got more La Cologne beans. We had people in town. If you guys have seen my last vlog, we had people in town. Oh, I remember what I was saying. 
I feel like I used to take for granted having like a job and like going to a job on a daily basis. It's not like I necessarily was like, oh my God, I hate this, but I never like was grateful for it. I was obviously grateful like when the paychecks came in, but I never was like, thank you for this nine to five job that I go to every day. Like, I was grateful for the other aspects of it. Like, thank you for the routine that I'm in. Like, thank you for the paycheck. Thank you for the money that goes into my account that allows me to pay my bills. It allows me to do these things. So I was more grateful for what it allowed me to do instead of like the whole part of the job was like me going, I'm learning something so new that will be so great to know about in the future. I'm so grateful to just be where I am. Like, I don't even care how draining it is, how many training modules or videos I have to watch. Like, I'm just like so grateful and excited to be there. So anyways, I will never in my life again take for granted going to a job on a daily basis or working because I enjoy this. Like, it's just life. Like, and you have to appreciate where you are instead of like constantly looking for the next thing. Like, appreciate what you have right here, right now. Because I can guarantee at one point in your life, you were wishing for something, somewhere, some part of your life that you're at now, you were wishing for it at one point. And here you are. You made it. You did it. Enjoy it. Be grateful for it. Stuff like that. I don't know why I'm creating a spiel. I just haven't, I haven't talked to enough people today. I need to get it out. Um, anyways, okay, let me just show you my packages before I go to the gym, but... I got more La Colombians. I had a rush order this. I had people in town. And obviously, I want people to utilize my machine. I want my friends to use it. I want them to experience it and have the joy that I have each day of using my Breville espresso machine. It's truly the best investment, my best purchase. I love my coffee at home. It, it, there is a learning curve to it, my machine. There definitely is. And, um, it's not gonna, if you don't get it exactly right, how it's supposed to be with that beautiful pour, it's not gonna taste good. So there's a learning curve. And if you guys have questions on my machine or how I have it set up, I feel like I have it set up so perfect. So if you guys have bought the machine, have questions about the my coffee machine at all, literally ask them, you can DM me, you can comment them. I am more than happy to share with you my exact machine setup because it took me like 15 YouTube videos and two bags of coffee beans or espresso beans to figure it out. And I feel like I finally like got it down to where every single espresso shot is perfect. But anyways, got more of these. I do the La Cologne and I have it on auto renew because it's so much easier to just like already have it. So I don't have to go and purchase it or remember to purchase it. It's already on its way before I even run out. And this time I had to purchase it early because I had people in town that were using it and I'm almost out. So I got more of those. I have been getting the Nisa find. Um, it's really good. And I had to get a new container for my coffee beans because I don't know what's going on with those ones. I'll put a picture of the one that I had before on the screen. I personally, they've never worked for me. They always end up breaking. And I'm not like constantly like using that plastic lid the first time I had to repurchase it um, is because I put it in the dishwasher. The heat dry cycle of the dishwasher, I think it broke the lid. So I hand washed my other one and the same thing happened. I don't know what I did. And like I barely used it. I didn't even have it for that long. So I got this one. I got it from Target. I think it was $10. Um, you obviously don't wash this, but you can put this in the dishwasher and it seals it so it keeps it fresh. So that's what I do when I get one of these bags. I put it in one of these containers to keep it um, super fresh. So this seals it. So I'll link this if you guys are interested. I don't recommend those little plastic ones. I feel like they've never worked for me. So this one's glass too. And you can use it for other things like rice, pasta, whatever you want. So I'll link it. I'm going to put the coffee beans in this after. The next package I got is really exciting and I treated myself to since i got my job and i got hired i immediately ordered a new pair of work pants and if you guys have been watching me since the beginning of me posting like work week in my life videos which i think was 2019 
No, not 2019, 2020. But I've been wearing these work pants from Zara for three and a half years because that's when I first started like my big girl job was three and a half years ago. And I've been wearing these pants and Zara has just done such a good job with keeping them in stock because I physically can't live without them. I'll link them down below. Truly my favorite work pant. I got a new color and I don't have this color, but I literally have these work pants in so many different colors. They're so flattering, so just, I mean, if you go back on any of my work videos, any of my work week of my life, you have probably seen these pants. They're this style of pant. I got them in this tan color. And what I like about them is that for me, I am 5'2". They hit me on my ankle or like a little bit below my ankle. So they're not touching the ground. They're not too long. I don't have to get them hemmed. So I'm just buying these pants. And with work pants, usually they're long and you have to get them hemmed. With these, they don't come too long. Obviously for taller girls, it is a one size. So it will be a little bit more cropped on you. But for shorter girls, it hits you at your ankle. It is on the model supposed to hit at your like above your ankle, kind of like shin length. I feel like it's a really good pair of pants. They last so long, I air dry them and they're just so good. I will probably never find another work pair of pants like this. They're truly the best. And I'm so excited to have this khaki color. Okay, so I have black, bl navy blue, light blue, pink, cream, white, and now I have tan. So seven colors of these pants. Like if that is doesn't tell you that they're my favorite pair of pants, I don't know what does. And you just grab like a basic color top, like white, white, gray, blue, brown, black, whatever. Rotate through all the different colors of pants and you have endless work outfits. So yeah, I'll link them. They're the best. I've put so many people on these. So anyways, I'm gonna get ready for the gym and just gonna do a little bit treadmill workout and um come back and do a form workout with sammy clark so sorry for talking your ear off Okay, it's Wednesday. I am about to share. I know my hair looks crazy. This is how I sleep with my hair during the week after I wash it because I wash it twice a week and this makes it so easy to style it for my hair personally. So I thought I'd share. I've shared it before and basically it's like French twists instead of like a French braid. So it's two parts of hair instead of three and you add parts as you go down and it creates a little bit different of waves for my hair and I do it when it's like kind of damp but almost like fully air dried this is like what I get and it makes it so easy so I'm not using heat on my hair like every day yeah and then I just continue to sleep with this like tonight I'll like redo it and um, go to bed with it up until like I wash it again so I'll like continuously sleep with it so definitely makes it really nice when you're like not wanting to like use heat on your hair I'm gonna add a little bit of dry shampoo to like blend my roots a little bit better I'm going to get my hair done next week thank goodness and I don't even like brush it like I brush it before I put it in this and then I don't brush it until I like redo it tonight but I'm about to change and head to work
Okay, good morning. I just got to my work garage. I have to be at work um, at 8 a.m. on Fridays for a meeting. It's 7.45. I left a little early so I could get some. Oh my gosh, it's leaking. It's leaking everywhere. But I needed extra caffeine today. I'm really tired. I was up late editing and then I'm gonna have to go home and edit too. I just kind of like wanted the extra caffeine since I have to be on a meeting at 8. I like need to be like a little bit more awake for it and my morning like protein coffee just didn't do it for me this morning it's like not waking me up at all so I need this extra little bit of caffeine but it's Friday since I go in at 8 today I get off at 4 which is good I look really tired I'm gonna go in right now I'm gonna open up I have like the code to the door most of the employees work hybrid so no one's there at this time and some days are like quieter than others i am like by myself most of the day which is kind of hard because i feel like i like to be like around people and like talking to people but me and my coworker yesterday were like constantly on um zoom and like sharing screens and training so like that was good but sometimes it's like really quiet anyways i just wanted to update you guys i did self tan last night so i feel really tan okay so it's Friday, I get off at four, which is so nice. Like I'd rather go in earlier to get off earlier. So I have the afternoon because I'm like more of a morning person than an evening person. So anyways, I'm gonna go in. Um, got home from work I spent the day I had that meeting at 8 to 9 and I spent the day making a ton of phone calls and setting up appointments and um, I tried to take a few clips but there was a little bit more people in the office today and I didn't want to like get in trouble if that makes sense because it is like my first week and I'm pretty sure no one knows that I do this as like a little hobby. And then I got off at four, which was really, really nice. I just got home. I'm probably about to shower, honestly, take my makeup off, relax, and then start editing my video from last week. And I'll pick up the camera tomorrow and film a weekend of my life. But yeah, that's about it. Great first week, no complaints. Um, it was a really good first week of work. And um, I'm really excited to just see how this like career path goes. I'm actually really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this first work week in my life at my new job. I will try and do more in the future. So make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys when I pick up the camera tomorrow.